The Back to the Future movies have seen pretty obvious continuity mistakes that you may have never noticed until now. When the Libyans are chasing Marty, he jumps into the DeLorean to evade the Libyans, and during the chase scene, the camera cuts to the odometer to show the car's speed. The mileage changes several times between shots, from this to this. Actually, the odometer looks completely different. The letters to Doc Brown are completely different. The original version and the taped up version of Marty's letter to Doc Brown are not the same. But people are unlikely to notice as there is so much time between its appearances. When Marty visits his dad as Darth Vader from the planet Vulcan, he has a hair dryer in his belt, which disappears between shots. The skateboard Marty uses in 1955 changes. There is no metal attachment here, but it is present here. Chris Lloyd's double can be clearly seen driving the DeLorean. The hovering DeLorean is not as futuristic as it may seem. Its wheel can be seen here underneath the car. The champagne car loses its speaker. There are two, one in front and one in back. The back one is gone in the next shot. The debris on Marty changes after he explodes the amp. After Marty explodes the amp, he's thrown backward into a shelf. What's on top of him changes into a bunch of papers and the positioning of his legs are different. The number of pens change in George's pocket from three to two. When Marty is looking up Doc Brown's address, the phone book shows marks between takes. This is clearly not the first time Marty has flipped to Doc Brown's page in the phone book. The months change on the time machine display from numbers to words. The hoverboard flips up automatically However, that could conceivably be a feature of the hoverboard. The candy jar in the McFly home goes from full to half empty. A crew member's head is visible in the license plate of the DeLorean. In Back to the Future 3, the shadows change rather drastically between shots.